Oh, there's a big mark coming in from the left. He's slowly working his way in. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep, he's going to hit. Do it. Yep. I could tell that one was bigger. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. And today, I am back up north in northern Wisconsin. Now, the last two videos you guys have seen, I was up in northern Minnesota slash North Dakota with my buddy John from Mindac Outdoors and the Smack'em Outdoors guys. And that trip was fantastic. I do still have one more video from that trip that you guys will be seeing after today's video. But I figured I wanted to upload to this one as fast as I possibly could to give you guys an early ice report up here in northern Wisconsin because everybody, and I mean everybody, is getting the itch because the last couple years we've already had ice. Usually by this time, Thanksgiving, we have ice on most of the smaller lakes so people are getting out there and unfortunately this year's weather has just been not good. So that's why I'm uploading this one as fast as I possibly can to let you guys know that I found ice in northern Wisconsin and no, I am not all the way up towards the UP either. So if you guys are wondering how far up you have to go, all I'm gonna tell you is that you gotta go north of Merrill, Wisconsin. That's the only secret I'm gonna give you. A lot of people are always curious where we're at. Check the northern spots, lakes under 50 acres. They are frozen. They do have walkable ice, but you guys do have to be extremely safe out there. Uh, I am no means a professional, but I have been doing this for a long time. And yes, I do tend, to, you know, I have the risk of falling in just like anybody else, but I do take precautions. Now, the lake that I am gonna be fishing today, I did just spend an hour out there with my spud bar, walking and checking every inch of the ice all the way out to my spot. I have about 15 holes drilled right now, and I just had to come back, get the camera, get all my stuff, and we're gonna get out there. So, guys, if you are excited, for ice fishing in northern Wisconsin this year. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we're always trying to be the first ones out here bringing you guys the best content in this neck of the woods. I am so excited, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get all the stuff, start walking out, and really soon I am going to be absolutely pounding some northern Wisconsin crappies. So stay tuned guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, made it to the spot safe and sound. As I turn it around, you guys can see all these dark holes. This is where I chiseled some holes that I am gonna be starting on. And we're just gonna see if we can get on top of some crappies. The weather today is really not that nice. I mean, it's a strong south wind, starting to snow a little bit, but hey, I don't really care. I'm out here ice fishing. It's early ice and that's all that matters. So we're gonna get the live scope out and we're gonna start fishing. All right, guys. So as you can tell, got the live scope already set up. This ice is definitely thin. I am kind of scared and I don't really get scared out on the ice that often, but luckily I do have Cody with me now. So if anything happens, God, you are already hooked up. Actually. It's a blue guy. Well, that didn't take long. All right, well, anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> just getting out here, turning on my live scope right now, see if they're down there. That's a good sign, though. Just got out here, and he already freaking caught a fish on his first drop. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of them down there. We're going to drop down, see if we can get some crappies, even though he did just catch a bluegill. Oh, one's coming. There we go. First fish is a tiny little crappie, but I can see on the live scope there's probably about 15 different marks down there right now. So get this guy unhooked. Send him back down. Let's see if we can get some more. There we go. Another crappie. This lake does have an abundance of crappies, so you are gonna get a lot of this size, but there are 
a lot that are bigger. That average usually is around uh, 9, 10, 11 inches. And then the occasional 13, 14, 15 incher does happen. This one's already screaming up at me here. Let's see if he hits. Oh yeah. This one seems better. All right. That's not bad. Third crappie already of the day. And that is more of the average that I was talking about right there. Probably nine, 10 inches maybe. But they are super aggressive in the school right now. So spend no time. We probably are gonna keep a couple, I think, just cause it's been a while since we've had a fish fry, but that's a nice, decent crappie. I'll probably end up keeping this one. I already got another one coming. There we go. Not as big as the last one, but definitely just another decent crappie. It is so fun getting out here and getting on a big school like this, especially early ice. Get a release on this guy. There's still some down there. He ended up taking my plastic off. Right now, I am using a plastic from panfish it is called and i'm not exactly sure on the model but it's kind of a creature style bait as you can see it's got some appendages and a longer whippy tail and that is doing the trick jig really isn't anything special it's just a ladybug colored tungsten jig drop her back down fishing in about 12 and a half feet of water this lake does not get very deep at all, but this is the deepest spot in it. I already have one screaming off of the bottom. It is so cool on this live scope unit. Not only do you see them down under you, but you get to see them uh, to the left and the right of you. A little bluegill decided to come and play. We're getting a little bit of everything so far. Well, this school kind of seems like it has passed, so I'm going to be switching holes here, seeing if they're over here. Kind of seems like they're in every hole, considering Cody's catching fish. I'm catching fish. Yeah, there's definitely a school. Here one comes. There we go. That's a nicer fish. Yep, that is a nicer crappie right there. That's definitely uh, the size that we're looking for. And like I was saying, this is mainly the usual average here. So if we can get a couple of these, uh, that would be great. But I have caught a few 15 inches out of this lake before, so anything is possible. Oh, there's a big mark coming in from the left. Drop her down, see if we can get him to bite. <sighs> He's slowly working his way in. Problem is we got a couple other smaller marks down there that I don't want to hit first. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep, he's going to hit. Come on. It's a bigger crappie. Do it. Do it. Yep. I could tell that one was bigger. And he didn't mess around at all. Woo! Cody! <laughs> Another nice one. I have, honestly, let me show you here quick on the GoPro. I have a ton of marks down there. And what I had going is he came in from over here. He came in from over here while I was dropped down here. And he just came flying in. I knew he was going to be the one that was gonna hit and he spent no time wasted he came in and just destroyed it right away so I'm gonna get a release on him see if I can get a few more and possibly even a few bigger ones got a couple of really nice marks down there right now but they're not right under me they're a couple feet to the right I got a really big mark coming in from the right side right now he might hit me see if he wants it or not Yep. He was coming from the right. Now he's coming straight vertical at me. Come on, hit. Oh, he's just staring at me. Luckily, there's another really nice mark coming in. 
This one's bigger than the last mark. Oh yeah, one of these fish is gonna hit. Yeah, this guy's gonna hit me. Yep, there we go. Nicer fish. Yep. You can tell just from the mark on the live scope which ones are gonna be bigger fish. Cause actually if you have it fine tuned enough, you can make out what the fish actually is. So when I was in Minnesota, we actually had uh, some pike swimming around on the live scope. And you could physically make out that it was a pike. You could see the fins and everything on it. And it was so cool to actually watch it come in like that. Uh, but the fish that are coming in, they seem like they just want to hit right away. And those are usually the bigger ones. I got one coming up for me right now. There we go. Yeah, we're on a decent little school here. Just really nice sized crappies. Pretty much just one for one. Every single time I drop down, I'm getting hammered. And it won't be long. I don't plan on keeping a, too many crappies, but... I do plan on keeping just a few, which is never a problem, but definitely normally don't keep that many crappies. Well guys, it has started to snow and the wind is really blowing, so it is quite cold out here, but my GoPro ended up dying. So the plan right now is I'm going to try to catch one or two more fish here, and then I think we're gonna head back and we are gonna go get something to eat, charge some camera batteries, and then the goal is to make it back out here before the evening is over. Because this lake, right at evening, is exceptionally good. I've been here, uh, actually with Cody. Uh, we came here once with 20 minutes, I think, of daylight left. And we came here and probably caught like, I don't know, I honestly don't even remember how many it was, but it had to have been 20 at least. 25. I mean, we got a ton of fish. It was just one major school. We chiseled two holes and just absolutely piss pounded them. So I'm gonna try to catch a few more fish and then we're most likely gonna get on out of here. Got one coming right under me, gonna hit me. Instant. Woo -hoo. It's a bluegill for sure. Nope, that's a crappie. I thought for sure that was gonna be a bluegill. But no, no, it's not. It's not too big. It hit freaking aggressive. That's a decent little crappie. I got a, got a school under me, so try to capitalize. That one spent no time. There we go. Nice. Tiny, tiny. Well, that is definitely one of the smaller crappies for me of the day. And with that being said, probably going to be the last crappie of the day for me. I just wanted to come and see if I could catch a few more before we head back in and charge everything up and go get some food. But yeah, pretty successful. Ice is definitely not 100%, but it is helpful having a guy with you and it is safe enough for us to obviously get out here and I can't complain with the crappies I caught. I mean, I did catch a couple of nice 10, 11 inches. So definitely nice first time out northern Wisconsin getting on top of some crappies. And I'm excited for later tonight because I know this lake and we're going to get some freaking giants. All right, guys, made it back to the landing. Got to the truck. Going to be loading everything in. It was very fun getting out here. This is one of my favorite crappie lakes. And every time this freezes first, it just gets me so excited to start off the year and definitely paid off. I got into a lot of nice crappies. Nothing too big today, but I do think later tonight, some of the bigger ones are gonna be coming out because this is mainly a morning and evening type of lake. So if we were able to get out there and still catch a few crappies that were of decent size, it was a success. And being out here as early as we did was a success. So we are going to load everything up go get some food because i haven't ate anything all day i've been up here just grinding trying to get out on this lake and then film a video for you guys if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe 
because we are gonna be posting a ton of ice fishing content. Hopefully three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays, that is gonna be the schedule from here on out. And hopefully we stick to it because we really wanna stay on the grind for you guys and produce as much content as possible. Like I said, we are getting out here later tonight, so there will be another crappie video in the future. Plus we still do have the Northern Minnesota video with John and all the other guys that is gonna be coming out later this week as well. So until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.